Good evening, folk. So, hello. Oh, I love that. I love that. Look at that. Someone said hello. Um, good evening. Thank you very much for, for coming. Uh, just very quickly before we start, just note to the speakers, would you be able to stand sort of here-ish? We do have a clicker. The reason why will become present momentarily. So thank you ever so much for coming. This is the fifth, I think, um, LGBTQ plus healthcare seminar organised by BSMS Spectrum Society. Harry, president, sitting there. And... There you go. Yeah, round of applause. Go on, let's do it. And the Trust, and the Trust LGBTQ Network. So I'm Neil Hopkins, as it says there. I'm an interim project manager currently working on the Trust's 2021, which is more terrifying than I can tell you, Stonewall Workplace Quality Index application. We're not even in 2020, but we're looking to 2021. So really quick skip. We've got an amazing evening. Um, it's going to be absolutely packed, so I'm going to get through my bit as quickly as, as possible. We've got uh, five amazing speakers. Come up there. We've got a panel discussion towards the end. So, if possible, if you can keep any sort of Q and A's to to the end of the, the evening, that'd be absolutely amazing. We've also got three bits of paper dotted around the room, and I think everyone's got some some post-it notes. And as we go through this evening, on one of my future slides, which is hopefully the next one or the one after that, uh, there'll be a couple of questions. If you can write any thoughts that come down to you on those questions, and then at the end of the evening, stick your thoughts up on the appropriate board at the back. And just before we also get going, it's been an amazing journey watching this one come together. Carrie Weller has done an amazing amount sitting in the, in the front in the red there to bring all this together and bring the amazing speaker. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. So we've got some out really clear outcomes. Again, it's wonderful working with educationalists to pull this together. <laughs> it makes life so much simpler. Um, we're going to have an overview of research. I'm not going to read all the, all the words. These slides will come around afterwards. Um, we're going to learn from colleagues at UCL London. So again, thank you. This seminar, we've really kind of pushed the boundaries, the geographical boundaries, out from um, our local area. We've got an update from the University of Brighton, a really exciting project. And then we're looking to have that sort of open, informed discussion and kind of ideas generating session towards the end through the Q&As. So that agenda for action and the three bits of paper around the back of the room. Um, as thoughts and ideas come to you over the evening, if you can put them down under three main headings. Faculty, what does it look like? What needs to be included for an LGBTQI? Come on in. More people, fantastic. Um, a, a really good inclusive curriculum. What does it look like under teaching assessment? And also, what do we need to think about for their pastoral support for LGBTQ plus students? So those are the sort of three areas. And after this evening, we'll gather together all the ideas and we'll get them back out as soon as possible with a bit of analysis and some, some thinking around it. So a little bit of housekeeping, just first of all. The reason standing here, saying to the presenters stand here, is Powell at the back has got camera. Uh, we do film these. Uh, we edit them down. We put them up on YouTube later for all the people who wanted to come but can't come. The camera is trained on screen and presenter, so you're looking lovely in the audience, but you won't be on, on film. If you, I know. <laughs> if you do ask a question, um, it may well pick up, we may well pick up your voice, so just to, to make that clear, but actually your, your face won't be there. So any equity membership in the audience? Don't need to worry about that. If a four-fingered monster comes in, runs screaming that way. Um, alternatively, if the fire alarms go off, something probably is happening. There's nothing planned for this evening. We're not expecting anything. But on a serious note, if fire alarms do go off, there and there, and then the muster point is outside. So just a really quick skip through why we're doing these and why we joined up with Spectrum Society to do these. As a trust, we want to be an open and inclusive place to work. Um, it's for us, that's the key to delivering outstanding care. And it's one of the reasons that we're going through the Stonewall WEI application process. We've set our sights on becoming one of the top 100 employers in the country for LGBTQ plus students, or people, as well as students. Um, we're not we're doing too bad. We're 143 in the last one. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there really quickly. And we want to see year-on-year -year progress um, for LGBTQ people as well. What we really want to see is inclusion being a golden thread. So from the first time someone thinks about joining the trust, um, it's clear that this is an inclusive place, and that stretches right back to sort of student colleagues, which is why we're here this evening. And we want our LGBTQ staff, patients, and allies to feel confident in being who they truly are. So no filters, no fear um, about bringing their true selves to, to work. And also spread. We want to spread the learning from our trust out through the community. There's a huge amount of incredible passion, knowledge and skills here. We want to push that as far as we can and make things better, not just in our walls, but further out. So, so we're doing pretty well. The CQC, Care Quality Commission, came in, did a huge inspection uh, last year, and they came back, and it was really quite glowing. The trust overall did fantastically well, and the staff who spoke to the CQC, as you can see there, um, just told CQC how much 
everything had improved for LGBTQ community. That was amazing to see. And this year we've been to Disability Pride, we went to Trans Pride, we went to Brighton Pride. We held the first ever LGBTQ plus inclusion conference. Um, that was back in February, which seems an absolute lifetime ago. And we're doing loads of things as a result of Stonewall, but as a result of many other projects across the Trust as well, just to make life better for everyone who comes through the doors. As I've said, we're 143 in the last Stonewall Equality Index. That's pretty good. We had a break of a couple of years. We went back in, back in at 143 against some really serious players. What we want to know now is how high are we going to climb in 2020? We'll find out by February, so we'll let you know. We want to be, we want to be number one. We'd like to be top 100. We want to be number one. 30,000 words of evidence later, we'll see how it, uh, how it all goes. Within the trust, um, this, the graph is slightly out of date um, because we've just had the latest information back in and 8% of our colleagues are self-identified as LGBTQ+, or in ESR terms, electronic staff record, LGB+. That's amazing. That's the highest since records began, and it's something like four times the amount of from comparable um, organisations. Again, that's slightly out of date because the latest data only came through a day or so ago. We want to be an inclusion employer of choice, and just looking at those numbers, I, th I think we're getting there. And again, some events like this will really, I hope, help us speed towards that. So last plea from me, don't be strangers. Keep in touch. We'd love to hear from everyone. We're very active on Twitter, um, bsuh underscore lgbtq. We have a brand new web page on the Trust website, which is really exciting. It's got loads of staff stories, and we're adding more every month. Uh, just search for LGBTQ on the Trust's main website, or you can email us bsuh.lgbtq at nhs.net.